ladies and gents, about to film the trial video this week, and uh, it is the Rage Tail Nasher, so be prepared for a very, very unpleasant time. Alright, um, the main reason why the Rage Tail is unpleasant is because, number one, you're dealing with a behemoth that is neutral, so it doesn't have any elemental counters. Okay, that, and if you're not good at interrupting it like you saw there, you'll have a bad time, like me! But honestly, this thing is a piece of shit, and I hate it, and everything about it. So here we go. So anyway, to beat it, what you're doing, like, I'll give you the build and everything, but um, it may take you more than one attempt. The reason why is, like I said, this thing does not have any elemental weaknesses or counters, so you're basically raw dog in it. Neutral behemoths are some of the worst in trials because, well, like I said, no counters means raw. Okay. And you should know that raw can sometimes never be not be a good thing. Now, if you're in a situation where it gets like that and it's going to super rage mode, and you know that shit's going up the creek without a paddle, that's the time to start dodging like crazy and praying to God. Okay, God may not answer you, but your dodging will usually work. When it does this belly slide thing, I actually just run away from it. Like, if you're not good at booping it during it, it's safer to just run. You will save yourself the heart, I think. But basically, when you when you know you can get stack at least of your discipline, try to get your stack. That's basically what I do, and yeah. Also try, also try to hit it as hard as I can. As soon as you're out of potions, duck away. Take your potions. And they take extra damage is also part of my instructions to you. Sorry guys, I'm a really bad example with the Nasher because this thing is a piece of ass. But anyway, you should still be able to do it within a reasonable amount of time. Alright. I'll try and cheese it with some of the other weapons, but basically, neutral element means pain. There we go, finally knocked it down, like a little punk, but if you manage to get the, uh, if you manage to get that last discipline stack, you can pretty much knock it down a lot faster, so just know that. Like, it is possible to do, and of course, the amount of times that you burn the damn thing has a great and helpful effect on how fast you finish this shit. So I have no doubt that you guys will be able to beat my timing, because it's, like, legit 340 only because I was that lucky. Yeah, there you go. So it does take about four minutes, but it's very possible to do. Okay, so I'll give you the build to do it, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you can do it better than I did, because number one, I don't know how to stop the belly slide. I'm pretty bad at that. And the, um, the overall damage of the thing is super annoying to deal with. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can do better than I can. Rage Tail Nasher and me, we have bad bad history anyway i'll give you the build now the build is simple okay you have your scorching agonies Torgador's chain blades cunning cell cunning cell here all right um reaper's dance serrated blades will be a mod you can use momentum blades as well i actually did on stream with momentum blades but um as you can see serrated blades adds a lot of dps so if you fuck up it actually helps you out 
Inferno's Fangs um, will be the Hellion Bond with Overpower. It's good stuff. Discipline will be your Omni Cell, and this is why we chain it together with Cunning so that you have overall a 22% crit rate, which is very useful. Scarn's Defiance with a Catalyst Cell. Okay, this will keep you alive. Sight of Stone with a Toughness Cell. Once again, keeping yourself alive. Scraving Jacket, Adrenaline Cell. Okay, because you're going to use a lot of stamina, so Adrenaline is your friend. Boreal Might with a Berserk Cell. Tenacious, we just have it as plus three because, well, we need the Power Cell, and there really isn't anything else to add. Time Weave Leggings because of Catalyst, and we add a Berserk Cell here. So overall, what you're looking at build-wise is plus six Adrenaline, okay, for damage when you sap stamina, plus six Berserker, 35% damage. Catalyst, great for using with Tonics. Cunning, uh, Critical Strike Chance, Critical Strike Damage. Toughness, keep you alive. Overpower comes naturally with the Hellion Blades and Tenacious, just part of your Boreal Might because you've got literally nothing else. So yeah, that's basically how to do it, and that's the end of that. So use it, go kill, go kill that Rage Tail Nasher. Okay, go get your marks this week. And here is the thank you scene. Thank you to the Throne of Honor, Pooty Pooty at only fan level, JP Best, Prestige, Zack NFG, Prestige, The Forgotten, Prestige, and Ian Bodras, Prestige. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Also, um, November's top supporters, thank you to Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer 43, Zavi Uzumaki, Alcorn0511, Alien Frost 80, Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zach NFG, Starbuzz, Lucifer, Vantau X, Puni Puni, Rogue Assassin, Arshals Garzi, Lucas Graham, and I'm a Boxhead. Thank you all so much for your beautiful, beautiful contributions, and I'll see you all on the next one. Okay? Have fun, friends.